Wanderer Stramoni Special 1939. Barely two years after the creation of Auto Union, then Germany's largest car manufacturer and the result from a merger between Audi, DKW, Hark and Wanderer, in 1934 decided to seal the construction of the phenomenal Silver Arrows. The success of the group at the base of the Little Wanderer W24, the engineers placed a 2.0-liter six-cylinder overhead valve engine from the Audi front. This very modern engine, developed by Ferdinand Porsche, had an aluminum block with cast iron cylinder head. For the occasion, the station was equipped with three single carbs and developed 70 horsepower. The car was fitted with a very aerodynamic and super light aluminum roadster body with two places. He weighed just 900 kilograms thanks to its contoured body, he flirted with the 160 km per hour. In 1938 it was decided to take the most demanding rally part of Europe, Marathon Road, the Rally Lydrum Lige. That was 4,700 miles through numerous detours through the Alps and the Dolomites, a journey of 100 hours, virtually without stopping. For the rally built the sports department in a few weeks time three copies of an original prototype. The Wanderers have been used only twice, in 1938 and in 1939 Lige Room Lige. In 1939 two cars from Auto Union tied in fourth place and finished third in the twelfth place. Finished as a result, the team won the Cup of Constructors for the best team performance. A remarkable result. If you know hardly anything more than a third of all participants finishing it. At the end of the war, the cars disappeared like so many other technical jewels that had the misfortune to be located on the eastern side of the Iron Curtain. Until someone the chassis and axles of a lost Wanderer W24 encountered. Thus arose at Dieter in the plan to rebuild the car. The legendary car must be rebuilt from the bottom and the body was created from a series of photos. There was no blueprint of the cars, the car must be rebuilt with much as many original spare parts for the car. Some exceptions are the gears of the gearbox, the intake manifold, these parts were untraceable. Further repair of electric fans to withstand traffic jams in today traffic. The idea was presented to Audi and Ingolstadt and aroused much enthusiasm in charge of Audi tradition that they also decided to build a replica. Beside the car of Dieterin two other cars has been built. After two and a half years of years of research the Silver Arrows were finished in 2004, tested and carefully tuned. So the original three cars were back after 66 years, and ready to participate in the Rally Lige Rome Lige, which had become a regularity rally for vintage cars since 1991. In the test car from Dieter and ended 10 years ago, on the ninth place in the overall ranking and second place in the pre-war cars. One of the other two wanderers unfortunately had to give up to 50 kilometers from Rome.